happens to movie sets after filming is completed? While many sets are built on studio lots and unassembled when filming concludes, others are built on location at sites around the world. In fact, studios hire location scouts to find places around the world to film movies. After these movies are released, those locations become meccas to fans of different movie franchises who make pilgrimages to these filming locations. And even if you aren't huge fans of these films, it's still pretty interesting to check out these movie sets if you're traveling to areas near them. 1. Hogwarts At the centre of the Harry Potter universe is a school of magic, wonder and more than a little danger. While you can't actually learn spells or charms at the filming location of Hogwarts, fans can visit the Christchurch College at Oxford University. Built over five centuries ago, Christchurch College receives 350,000 visitors every year solely because of its role in the Harry Potter movies. From the main entryway staircase to the Bodleian Library, students from every Hogwarts house will enjoy visiting this British filming location. 2. Shawshank Prison from the Shawshank Redemption while The Shawshank Redemption was actually a box office failure, the 1994 film has become incredibly popular since its release over 23 years ago. While Andy Dufresne, Tim Robbins, is sentenced to two life sentences in a main correction facility, director Frank Darabout shot the film in Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield. The town also offers a tour called The Shawshank Trails, so tourists can see the locations used in the films. Three. Port Royale from Pirates of the Caribbean While parts of the 2003 film set have fallen into despair, fans of the popular Pirates of the Caribbean franchise can still head to Wally Bay Anchorage St. Vincent to Port Royale. Sure, Johnny Depp has long since forgotten about the Caribbean local, but that doesn't make the swashbuckling fun of the movies any less lifelike on this sandy film set. Don't forget to pack your sunscreen before heading to St. Vincent to visit the set of this beloved Disney film franchise. 4. The Town of Stanford from Hot Fuzz A quaint city southwest of London, Wells, Somerset served as Stanford in the 2007 police comedy Hot Fuzz. As anyone who has seen this movie knows, the town is basically a character in this film directed by Edgar Wright. The smallest city in all of England, moviegoers become familiar with Wells and its marketplace, theatres and back alleys. Today tourists can take a tour of the various filming locations used in Hot Fuzz. 5. Hobbiton from The Lord of the Ring and Hobbit Sagas Fans of Peter Jackson's films need only to save up for some vacation days so that they can enjoy the journey all the way to Matamata, New Zealand. Once there, individuals find themselves lost in the imaginary world Jackson created to use in his retelling of the beloved J.R.R. Tolkien books. A variety of tour options are available to explore the Hobbiton, from the Shire to Glowworms Caves. 6. The Neighbourhood from Edward Scissorhands When Edward Scissorhands is discovered shut away in a creepy mansion all alone, suburban cosmetic sales lady Peg takes the gentle figure home with her. Peg and her family live in a neighbourhood filled with brightly coloured homes and shrubbery begging to be pruned into fantastical shapes. This neighbourhood is Tinsmith Circle in Lutz, Florida. People actually live in this quiet hamlet, so visitors should be careful not to trespass on private property when touring the locale. 7. Overlook Hotel from The Shining The bone-chilling horror directed by Stanley Kubrick, based on the novel by Stephen King, used the exteriors of the Timberline Lodge located at Mount Hood in Oregon. While the interior scenes from The Shining were filmed at Elstree Studios in London, England, the Timberline Lodge was used for the exterior shots of the possessed property. At 5,960 feet above sea level, horror fans and skiers alike can enjoy the mountain's beauty from The Shining's exterior set today. 8. The Café from Amélie La Café de Dumoulin, which translates to The Café of Two Windmills, located in the Montmartre neighbourhood of Paris, has been a part of the city's rich culture since the beginning of the 20th century. It didn't gain international popularity until the 2001 movie Amélie was released. Now the café attracts visitors from all around the world. 9. Firehouse from Ghostbusters Located in the Tribeca neighbourhood of Manhattan, the old New York Fire Department station is put to good use by Ghostbusters in the original, sequel and that other movie. Yeah. The historic firehouse originally opened in 1903, but served as headquarters for both Ghostbusters casts. 
The filming location has also been used in the 2005 movie Hitch and the popular NBC sitcom Seinfeld. Ghostbusters can take a quick subway ride to the Hook and Ladder Company 8 at 14th North Moore Street. 10. Tatooine from Star Wars A New Hope Set in the deserts of Tunisia, Tatooine is a desolate planet of galaxy's outer rim territories. The audience's introduction to Jedi Master Luke Skywalker takes place on Tatooine in the 1977 film from the director and writer George Lucas. Star Wars fans can travel to Tunisia and visit 20 different buildings spread over the 10,000 square meters of land used in five of the seven films. Many consider the trip to Tunisia a sort of spiritual journey for fans of the sci-fi saga. Which filming set would you like to visit the most? Let us know in the comments below. For your daily celeb fix, subscribe.